here we are another walk around and just a short one because this hj47 still has a lot of work when it leaves mr land cruiser but it's a ninth month 1983 hj47 2h and hassan from new south wales has sent it up to us here at mr land cruiser in queensland to do some work on it now he bought it 15 years ago and it sat in the garage, parked it up, just got excited about it and sat up for 13 years. And then a couple of years ago, he tried to get it going and there is engine trouble. So now it's made its way up to Mr. Land Cruiser and that's where we've pulled the head off, we've done the compression, we've pulled the head off and she has got multiple cracks in there, the head's stuffed. So luckily, the client had his own spare head that he sent up to us and we've fully refurbished it, thrown that on there and now under the engine bay she is returned to an original hj47 turnkey there's a few little other things we've done but now she's just turnkey ready to go mechanically for when it gets back to new south wales so this one is nowhere near roadworthy stage there's no bumper and you just see things up here like the rust there's some rust but it, it's, you know, it's the sought after tray. It's one step closer after all these years of being parked up, being ready for the road again. So I'm sure, I'm, I look at these tires and I'm sure they're as old. They've probably been the same ones that were, were put there 15 years ago. So he might want to change those, but finally he, he's pretty excited. We're done now. It's going to head back to New South Wales. We'll have a look inside uh, and see what he's got to do and what he's got to do to get this one back on the road. So the client is gonna do this one himself or have it done down in New South Wales, but this is really common around here. People are finding uh, barn fine or shed fine rigs and they're bringing them to us and just look at this thing, the dash, the cobwebs, the dust. Um, it's just, it hasn't been touched or sat in in many years and that's, one thing, it's pretty exciting up here when we get to do the whole job because we get cars like this back on the road. Again, he's doing it himself, but for blank canvas wise, everything's here, everything's stock O factory. Steering wheel, dash, cluster, taco, the original floor, original seats, sun visors, mirror, no rips in the um, dash pad. This is a great blank canvas. There's, um, there's nothing from its day apart from the stereo that's been changed or missing. So this one is just a very, very short walk around because um, there's still a lot more to do that it doesn't, you know, he's going to have to choose suspension, new tyres, it doesn't have an overhead console, it doesn't have a dual battery system, it's just been dry stored and probably the biggest advantage to dry store in this one, I've talked about a bit of rust, but the lack of rust and the condition of the tray, you really don't find too many um, trays in this condition anymore, not that have been out in paddocks or anything one of the most sought after things um, apart from buying a new one off our mate rob sawyer you're not going to find them like this so it's unbelievable that the tray compared to the rest of it is so nice you've done really well hassan i can't wait to send some photos up of the finished product and see this one after 40 years back on the road